All right, so earlier I was putting my daughter to bed. Uh, let me take this off. Matter of fact, I still have um, the drool of her staying being here. But just to clarify that me wearing a red shirt here is not on purpose. But I'm just keeping it for the sake of a bit here because <laughs> I think like I've just almost fell asleep in a different world and woke up in a parallel dimension where things are just upside down. Alright, so what's happening? As I've mentioned, I was putting my daughter to bed and I was scrolling through my YouTube comment section to uh, see what people were saying. And accidentally, I stumbled on a comment to a sort of bit uh, joke that I made off the, off the hand of something that was featured in a video by Reggie a couple of days ago. Recently, we attended a, um, a lecture on like health and science and stuff. And there was this whole bit where they talked about our gut biome, like the stuff that we intake and how it uh, all marinates inside there. And I want to bet that this dude's insides... Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Even saying the words kind of is disturbing, but it's literally Blight Town in there. Like Scarlet Rot times a hundred. And the comment was like that Nicocado avocado thing did not age well and I didn't quite get it so I went to the man's channel and what I saw <laughs> blew my mind away. Two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. So I am the villain because I've made myself one. And well, in light of the new information, I would just like to retract my comments. So apparently, Nico Caro Avocado, the once over 400 pound or so person who could challenge Golok the Destroyer, had been on like a David Goggins arc and was looking good. Like, I know that he's having a little bit of um, the kind of villain look there, completely shaved and all. Again, very much like David Goggins. Can you say your message without fucking cussing? If my life coming up was better, I would. But like, I was genuinely surprised and I gasped so hard that I almost woke my child. I, I do not know what to say when I'm seeing things like this. Like, you need to understand something about this. Nico Caro Avocado, back in like the 2016 days, because he uh, came up with the 2016 mukbang crowd as well as the 2016 vegan crowd, right? He was actually a decorated violinist from Colombia, who apparently, I would like to say, it's played like us a like damn a damn fiddle, fiddle but played us like a violin. For as it turns out, Nicocado Avocado had been uploading videos that he had pre-recorded years ago, drip fitting it to us on goers, like just passer buyers, because I was never subscribed to him. I never truly understood the psychology of the mukbang, like eating exorbitant amounts of foods and like living vicariously to people who are doing that. It, it felt weird to me. Like I can understand once in a while, like, eating competitors like Matt Stoney or Eric the Electric whom I am actually subscribed to also kind of um, interesting stories when it comes to weight loss and stuff like that from both of those content creators because for Nico Caro it was different there was no sign of an intent to change it was just getting worse and worse and worse, especially from somebody who, remember, in the very start of this person's arc, right, before he became, well, the image that we all knew of him before this bombshell got dropped on us, he was like 150 pounds and claimed that veganism was the thing that helped him lose a lot of weight, as he stated clearly that he was obese in the past. So people that watch my channel know that I'm vegan. I've been vegan for almost four years, like another month or two would be like four year mark. Totally changed my life. I used to be obeso. I used to be like, what? But like to see millions upon millions of people every single month tuning in to see temper tantrums, like person going crazy, actually killing himself weight wise and health wise, and just people just passively watching. Th there was like an aspect of disgust, but also a lot of sadness that I felt for him because I have to be very clear, a big part of his audience was actually wanting him to like 
get better. They were constantly urging him that if he actually did something about his health, that this would in fact be something that would have helped his channel a lot. And that is literally what we're witnessing right now. Nico Caro uploaded a video on his main channel that is absolutely exploding. And that's actually how I came to make this video right now after just watching it. It's insane. He has one on his second channel as well, and he's doing numbers as well. So, like, I had an idea in the past that with the insane catalog that he kept on feeding, like, was it the freaking Library of Alexandria where the only thing that burned was his slobbering visage and massive corpus burned into a redneck. Okay, that was so out of pocket. But, like, I had this idea that the only reason that he was doing that was that it supposedly was his only way of making bread. And naturally, there is this aspect of YouTube that unfortunately happens to be that you don't always find your audience. Sometimes your audience finds you and you have to ride the wave that they give you, right? They suggest you things to do and that's the thing that you end up doing. And in case of mukbangs, it always has to be bigger and I guess worse is not better. But yeah, for the last few years, he had been uploading a bunch of content as a smokescreen from him actually getting better, which is so applaudable because you, I don't know if many of you understand how impressive it is to lose that amount of weight. Like as a person who has competed in bodybuilding, for which I don't want to make this about me at all, but like who stays pretty healthy year around, but has seen and helped people who have very much struggled with their weight. It's mad to lose that amount of weight and this fast like again i have to bring this back to david fucking goggins that's insane amount of dedication and i can only just applaud for that additionally i need to point out just how like evil mastermind smart and actually genuinely good calling it a social experiment actually is because unlike a lot of pranks out there this one actually might be one and to put an emphasis on this while I was searching, typing his name, right, to find the video in question, I stumbled on a Sony V2 video. The content mill that is Sony V2. I'm saying that well aware that I am a reaction channel, okay? So I know what content mill feels like. Yet still, I do contain myself. I could be pumping out content every single day, making it as lazy as possible. I always try to improve and add a little something to things to make it interesting. But I am not pretending to be like a source of actual genuine information. The video that he made on Nikocado Avocado, like, what is it? Hold on a minute. Two days by now, age like fucking rotten milk. It is Oh, man, I don't know if Nick actually planned on putting this like right after the video came out, if he knew that Sony V2 was going to make something on him. Like, was he actually Kendrick Lamar and Drake situation where he has an inside man? Might not be the case, but speculating here, it's 2024. We are living in a crazy year. Four years ago, Mr. Beast was on the rise and Nico Caro Avocado was on the downfall. The upside down is good. <laughs> but yeah, this whole thing of him being painted as being a villain, the massive amount of stories that have been said about him, like one thing is to attack him based on what you're witnessing with your eyes. The other is all the implication that people come up with. That's an, an entirely different show. And a lot of it is, of course, always unsubstantiated with one of the biggest culprits being Sony V2 in the way that he produces his video. But no, like on a serious note, I am actually so very happy for him and especially also for his community. I might have used the word parasitic before because yes, there certainly were people who were tuning in solely for the sake of witnessing a person kill himself on screen. There is a weird obsession that we have when it comes to content. I can't say where the psychology of that comes from. Yet, seeing them all being supportive of him actually getting better is great. And I do sincerely hope that he keeps on getting better. Because he did end the video with, naturally, his parrot there with him doing a mukbang. And I just hope that he keeps doing them as he wants to. But 
in a different way from what it did before, or else the weight is going to come back and actual psychological issues might be coming up with it. And I, I, I do believe that a lot of what Nico Kato went through in those four years, let's say so, uh, were genuine. I cannot uh, imagine that having to put on that amount of weight can not scar you psychologically. Like I've seen a bunch of videos like the one personal trainer who gained all those all that weight to like show his client that yes you can lose them like going along with the journey right and uh, he always stays with a smile. Uh, I can't exactly remember what the name of that person is. I would edit that in the video here in post. That being said, in closing, unlike Dr. Disrespect the Age of Consent who is playing 40 chess in order to sue people and actually claiming that that was his intent the entire time, what he did here is an actual social experiment and I actually am interested in knowing what where he's trying to go with this. Is he actually trying to to help people out that are perhaps in similar situation as he is? Is he just gonna keep doing the mukbang without diving into things deeper? I've seen him in the past in certain interviews where he had to explain things about his weight and stuff, especially with regard to the thing about the veganism part, uh, That, but that's like years old, 2016 era. So like, I, I'm just <laughs> slightly flabbergasted no, not slightly, a lot. It's just impressive and uh, I, I wish him just the best. I'm just happy to see some positive news regarding some big YouTuber who has been mired in controversy. It's nice. That's why I wanted to share this with you. And uh, for anybody who's struggling with weight loss out there, I'm not gonna say that it's easy, okay? You don't just drop that amount of weight that easily. But uh, but for those who might have looked at him as a benchmark for what you should never do, there you go. Great job, man. Just, just great job.